The denomination and number of all mammalian teeth are expressed by a formula that is used to differentiate the human dentitions from those of other species. In this video, we will be dealing with how a dental formula is written. Watch the video till the end to understand it well. We at Dentorize welcome you all to a platform where we help you to conceptualize, visualize and memorize dentistry. Be it primary dentition or permanent dentition, the denomination of each tooth is represented by initial letter in its name. For example, incisors are represented by I, canines by C, premolars by P and molars by M. One thing to note. Whenever we write the dental formula, we count the teeth on one side only. This means in the permanent dentition on one side, number of incisors will be 2 in the maxilla and 2 in the mandible. Number of canine will be 1 in the maxilla, 1 in the mandible. Number of premolars will be 2 in the maxilla, 2 in the mandible. And number of molars will be 3 in the maxilla and 3 in the mandible. Let's see how we write the formula. Every letter that represents the tooth is written first. A horizontal line is drawn in front of these letters. The number of each type of tooth is written above or below the horizontal line. The number of each type of tooth belonging to the upper jaw that is the maxilla is written above the horizontal line. And the number of each type of tooth belonging to the lower jaw that is the mandible is written below the horizontal line. Starting from the incisors, we write I depicting the incisors. A horizontal line is drawn. 2 above the horizontal line implies 2 incisors are present in the maxilla that is the central incisor and the lateral incisor. 2 below the horizontal line implies Two incisors are present in the mandible, that is the central incisor and the lateral incisor. C depict canines. One above the horizontal line would imply one canine is present in the maxilla. And one below the horizontal line would imply one canine is present in the mandible. Likewise, P depicts premolars. Two in the maxilla and two in the mandible. M depicts molars. 3 in the maxilla and 3 in the mandible. Please note, the formula includes number of teeth on one side only. Thus, the formula is read as incisors, 2 maxillary and 2 mandibular, canines, 1 maxillary and 1 mandibular, premolars, 2 maxillary and 2 mandibular, molars, 3 maxillary and 3 mandibular, or 16 altogether on one side, right or left. Likewise, for the primary dentition, incisors are represented by I, canines by C and molars by M. On one side, two incisors are present in the maxilla and two in the mandible. One canine is present in the maxilla and one in the mandible. Two molars are present in the maxilla and two in the mandible. The formula is written in the same way we discussed for the permanent dentition. If you like our videos, please hit the bell icon, share so that we can reach out to maximum people, subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated. Thanks for watching. Suggestions are always welcome. Stay tuned. Stay safe.